Hi kids. So in this video, we'll solve numericals from consigned physics class 10, current electricity. We were already doing 8C, okay? And we have done till some number 16. We proceed now. Look at number 17, okay? Exercise 8C, current electricity. Now, for the previous video, you can see the description box. A battery of EMF 15 volt is an internal resistance 2 ohm is connected to 2 resistor of resistance 4 ohm and 6 ohm. Okay? Joined in series. Find the electrical energy spent per minute in 6 ohm resistor. What are you doing? I'll first draw the diagram. Look over here. The R1 R2, this is EMF is 15 volt, internal resistance is 2 ohm, this is 4 ohm, this is 6 ohm. First thing, I'll try to find the current in the circuit. Now, EMF equals to I, R external plus R internal. Now, EMF is how much? 15 equals to I. R external is how much? If you look carefully, these two are in series. So they simply add RS is R1 plus R2. That is 10 ohm. So 10 plus internal resistance is 2. So 15 equals to I into 12. So I equals to 15 by 12. 3, 5 times, 3, 4 times. So that's 5 by 4. That's 1.25 ampere. So this much of current flows through both the resistor because they are in series yes or no <laughs> now electrical energy spent yeah electrical energy spent in 6 ohm resistor look carefully electrical energy can I write we have the formula I square RT where T is the time have they given the time uh, let me see Per minute. Electrical energy spent per minute. So time is what? 60 second. Just substitute the value. I square. I is how much? 1.25 whole square. R. R is 6. And T is what? 60. So that's 1.25 multiplied by 1.25 into 6 into 60. Simplified. 125 by 100. 125, 500, this is 6 into 60. 25, 5 times, 4 times. Again, 5 times, 4 times. 4, 1 time, 4, 15 times. So 2 times, 2, 3 times. Yes or no? So this is 5, 5 is a 25. 25 into 3 is 75 into 15 by 2. Yes or no? So just calculate. So that's 750. And 375, that's how much? 112.5. Hey, sorry, 1125. 1125 by 2. Solve it. 5 times, 6 times, 2 times. Yeah, this much energy. So 562.5 joule of energy is spent per minute in 6 ohm resistor. Very easy. First of all, calculate the current flowing through the circuit. Once you got the current, then we know I is I square RT. Yes or no? Just substitute the value, we will get the answer. So let us look at number 18. Look at number 18. Water in an electric kettle connected to a 220 volt supply takes 5 minutes to reach its boiling point. How long will it take if the supply voltage falls to 200 volt? Now there are two cases. When the supply voltage was 220 volt the time taken was 5 minutes now what will be the time taken to reach its boiling point if the voltage now becomes V2 200 volt now try to understand to reach its boiling point whether this is case 1 and case 2 the amount of heat required will be same suppose over here the heat is H1 
over here the heat is H2. So H1 clearly will be equal to H2. There is no doubt in that. Because the amount of heat required to reach its boiling point will be same whether it is case 1 or case 2. Doesn't matter whether the voltage falls or increases. Now, look over here. Energy is V squared T by R, remember? Find both the case, case 1 and case 2. Resistance will be same. Why? Because it is the same kettle. Resistance will be R only. We have this logic, use this. So H1 will be what? V1 square T1 by R. And H2 will be what? V2 square T2 by R. RR cancels, definitely R0 equal to 0. Then what happens? Then if you look carefully, V1 square by V2 square is T2 by T1. Yes or no? Just substitute the value. V1 square, that is 220 into 220. V2 square, 200 into 200. T2, T2 is how much? T2 we don't know. T1 is 5. Just calculate now. So that's how much, that's uh, this, 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 this goes away. That's 22 into 22 by 2 into 200 into 5 equals to T2. We're getting T2 like this. Now, 2, 11 times, 200 times. Leave it like this. 2, 1 time, 2, 11 times. 11 into 11 times, 1, 2, 1. Now, 1, 2, 1 into 5. It's 605 by 100, which means 6.05 minutes. That is your T2. Yes or no? Very easy. So T2 is your 6.05 minutes. Just use this relation and you will get the answer. Now let's look at the next sum. Now look at number 19. An electric toaster draws a current of 8 ampere. In a circuit, when source of voltage V is 220 volt, it is used for 2 hours. Find the cost of operating the toaster. If the cost of electrical energy, which means the rate at which energy is charged, is rupees 4.50 kilowatt hour. They have given this, okay? Now, look over here. We know energy is VIT. So energy will be 220 into 8 into. If I take 2 hours, then my answer will come in what hour? Yes or no? Now solve this. So 220 multiplied by 8. 8, 2 times 16, 1, 7. And then multiplied by 2. 3, 5, 2, 0. Watt hour. Now, how do you change watt hour to kilowatt hour? You divide by 1000. So, 3.520 kilowatt hour. Then, what is the cost? Very easy. The energy consumed multiplied by the rate at which they charge. This, if you solve it, 15.84. Yeah. I'm not solve it. You just solve it, you'll get the same answer. Okay. Chal, this was pretty easy. Now let us look at number 20. Now look at number 20. An electric kettle is rated 2.5 kilowatt and 250 volt. Okay. Find the cost of running the electric kettle for 2 hours. Time they have given 2 hours at rupees 5.40 per unit, which means the rate at which. The energy is calculated, the cost is calculated, is rupees 5.40 per unit. And we know the unit is kilowatt hour. Very easy. Energy is P into T. So energy is 2.5 kilowatt into 2 R, which means 5 kilowatt hour. Simple calculation. So what will be my cost? The energy consumed into the rate, that's rupees 5.40. That's how much? Rupees 27. 
Done. Very easy. Just calculate energy in kilowatt hour, P into T, T is in R, and then find the cost. 21 will do it over here only. A geezer is rated 1500 watt, 250 volt. This is the rating, okay? The geezer is connected to 250 volt main. Calculate number one, the current draw, P equals to VI. So I is P by V. That's 1500 by 250. 6 ampere. Done. Very easy. Power equals to VI. Bus. The energy consumed in 50 hours. Time is 50 hours. So what will be energy? P into T. Look carefully. P is 1500. T is 50. This is what hour? What hour? So in Kilowatt hour will divide by 1000. So 15 into 5 will be left. Kilowatt hour. That's 75 kilowatt hour. That is the energy. Yeah. And last, the cost we have asked. Cost is what? Energy into rate. The cost of energy consumed at rupees 4.20 per kilowatt hour. Rate is 4.20. So 75 into 4.20. Yes or no? That will come as rupees 315. The rate was given as rupees 4.20 per unit. Again, the unit is kilowatt hour. Very easy. Step by step. Just in this chapter, you just need to know the formulas. And every sum you can solve on your own. Okay? Chalo, this was the last sum. Keep it till here for the day. Everybody take care and stay safe and if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends.